Hey, I wanted to briefly talk about the report topic choice that's due on Monday. Um, for that report topic choice, there are a few things that you can do. The first is go to one of these web pages here that is linked to which are recommended journals and type in something that you're interested in. Um, so for example, um, if you're interested in um, Alzheimer's disease and, um, uh, and acetylcholine, then you can type that in here and take a look at um, some of these articles. Um, often you will find uh, somewhat overwhelming uh, titles, but maybe, for example, this one here catches your eye as um, cholinergic, so acetylcholine overstimulation um, in prefrontal cortex, and that sounds like something that's kind of we've talked about a bit. Maybe it sounds cool and interesting. Um, and then from there, uh, what you're ultimately going to need to do for the assignment is to upload a, um, a document um, with, link, with a link to um, or just the PDF of, so you can download the PDF for this paper, um, for the paper. Um, there is going to be a lot of technical terminology in here. And I think that um, everybody in the week after spring break is going to have to find some time to come to office hours. I'll be holding some extra office hours in the afternoons um, and also uh, optional evening office hours via um, Zoom when we can talk through some of these articles. Um, but for these articles, you are going to have to work through the... Um, uh, the experiments and uh, and make sure that you have an understanding of what's going on. Um, and that's going to take some work together with me or with Ian. If you don't find what you're looking for by going to these places, then the other place that you can go is to um, PubMed. Um, if you just Google PubMed, then you'll find it, um, or uh, the address is uh, is up here, um, ncbii.nlm.nih.gov slash PubMed. Um, and, for example, um, maybe you're interested in bipolar disorder and synapses, and so you, um, you go looking here. Um, you... For the article itself, you're required to do a research article. However, um, sometimes it may be helpful to start with a review article. And over here on the left, you can click review articles and restrict yourself to review articles. A review article is something that does not work as the primary focus of this report because you need to have something that's presenting new data. Um, but you may find it interesting, for example, to um, to look through a review article first and use that as a way to um, help you find um, research articles as well as putting those research articles into context. Um, so in um, one of these review articles, um, often uh, they're either available through the um, uh, journal website or, the, um, uh, or through um, what's called PubMed Central. Um, if they're not available through either of those, but you find something that you want, you can always email me or just contact the libraries at Carnegie Mellon, and they can, uh, within a day, usually get, an art, get um, the PDF of it to you. Um, and so once you get to this review article, you can read it. That will give you some broader context related to um, a sort of subset of new findings within a, the con within a disease. And then you may find, for example, that there are particular research articles that are linked to in this that sound really cool and interesting from the context provided in the review. And then you go to those original, um, so maybe this you know, BDNF and dopamine. Um, dopamine is something we've already talked about. BDNF is coming up soon. And this sounds like a cool research article. Um, maybe, again, it might be a little bit uh, overwhelming at first, but um, you can start with this and then meet with me to talk through the research uh, methodology for this paper. Um, and so uh, by, by reading one of these research articles, uh, or one of these review articles, rather, um, you can say, okay, well, maybe this, uh, I'm interested in this um, Shank 2 variant in schizophrenia, um, and now I've got an original research article here. 
um, with the Shank 2 variant of schizophrenia, and I'm going to use that and talk to Dr. Brazier or talk to Ian about how to use it um, for my um, uh, research study. Um, there's a whole other set of videos about the research articles themselves, um, which I will link to back here on the Report Topics Choice page. Um, it's about an hour worth of video to work through, but in that I really help, I really strive to help you figure out how to um, read these articles um, and work through them in a way that won't be overwhelming. So um, I think that it's well worth the hour of time to spend on it. Um, but additionally, um, coming to talk to me, even for 10 or 20 minutes, um, can help make a huge difference in narrowing down what you should and shouldn't focus on for your particular research article once you've chosen it, and how to use the information in the abstract to direct you to the relevant parts of the introduction, the results, and the conclusions. Um, one general piece of advice that I give is to just don't even read the experimental methods. Um, I have a friend uh, from graduate school that, that says that, uh, that said that experimental methods are an inside joke of the lab that wrote the paper. Um, and that's really not far off from the truth. Um, just sort of really briefly, um, uh, there in, in the article itself, in the results section, they will actually tell you what they did in enough detail for what you need for this. So for example, they were looking for genetic variants in this particular gene, and they sequenced the genome, the exons. Um, you can talk to me about what an exon is or you know, look it up. Um, but they sequenced exons, which is the active coding part of the genes, um, from 481 schizophrenic patients. Um, and that is literally all the method that you need to know. Um, and then the, your task is to contextualize that method into the experimental logic and with the results that they came to. And the results are often presented in the figures. Um, and typically, um, each figure presents one it's sort of, you know, the different aspects of one result. Um, sometimes uh, a figure might have a lot of parts to it and maybe even have a couple different experiments in them. Um, but please, please, please contact me with any questions as they come up. And I strongly encourage you all, once you've found a paper that sounds cool, to um, come talk to me even for just a few minutes about the research article and how to break it down.